everybody, welcome to Homesteading with Sadie. So today we're gonna to do a little project. Um, I've lived in this house for several years and um, if you look around, you come in the front door and then we have just this front room, a wide, a big front room, and then we come into the living room and the kitchen. What this house does not have is a broom closet. So I have no place to put my vacuum, my broom, my mops, anything like that. So today we're going to do a little project. So this area right here where the TV is was an addition, was a built-in from the original house. It used to be the dining room. And uh, we just sort of moved the dining room over here. We don't really use it too much, but this area here was all enclosed to make the master bedroom closet. What we're gonna do today is put a door right here and make go into the master bedroom closet and make a little broom closet. I'm gonna make it deep enough where I could hang some winter coats in there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come off this wall here and I'm gonna put an 18 inch door. It should line up right to this wall here. Go back here, see a little bit, you can tell, see what I'm talking about. So I have this little half wall here and so you, the door should line up, the frame should line up right there. And let me take you in the bedroom and you can see um oh look you can see I have my mop right there and my vacuum cleaner is over in the corner somewhere anyway when you come in the bedroom don't mind the mess because I've been cleaning the closet out I haven't cleaned it out in years you can see how big the closet is it's just pretty big I got a double rack a storage I got a shelf on top with stuff on it and I cleaned this corner out. I did at one point have a dresser here, which I moved out. I didn't really use it. It was just sort of stuff in there that not really clothes, but just stuff. So we're going to put the door here. And I figured that we were going to go, the 18 inch door was going to be like this. And after you get all the stuff, it's probably going to come all the way to this right here. So it's about two feet in, and then we're going to come out enough so we can hang some coats. So it's going to be about two feet in. It's going to mess up my tile floor a little bit in here. We did some test tile work and made a little like border with like a little inset. Either way, I'm going to come in about this far and then there and then that will be really nice so I can actually hide my cleaning stuff. So let's get started. Sure, that's where you want it. Mm -hmm. Right there. You're positive. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Before I do this. Yeah, I, I, I want a place to put my stuff.
All right. Nothing there. Be nicer is once I take these screws out and I loosen this up on the back side, mm -hmm. I can put it right over here and just screw it back in place. Top one ain't gonna need one. Remember, I said the top because right. that's 80 inches right there, right? So that's on, and that one down there, I have to cut that one out the bottom. What are these things that hold this on? Um, they're like little nails. You're gonna end up taking um, right. take that bar off first. Alright, there we go. So that's out of the way. Should be, being if it's level, this should be 20 inches. Just 
got to trim the sheet rock up a little bit. That's it. All right, everybody, so that's it for this part of the video on the closet remodel. I've got to go ahead and make some dinner. We are having black bean tacos tonight. So if you haven't seen my black bean taco recipe, I will link it in a card right up here or wherever it goes. And make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell because the next video you see will be what we do with the closet remodel. This side of the closet is going to be, like I said, the broom closet. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do on the inside of the master bedroom closet just to make it look more natural. So anyway, stay tuned and we will see you on the next video.